This is a quick tutorial on showing how to use your Yamaha AW4416 to control a door. In this case, Studio One Artist running on a Windows PC. So on your door, on your OR, um, you'll first of all hit the MIDI button there and select F1. Now the two, you can leave it pretty well everything at default, but the two items you have to turn on here is the con control change, TX. Uh, that'll allow the OR to control the faders in the, in the door. And if you want to go the, the opposite way, that is use your mouse or whatever controls you've got in the door to control the AWA, turn on, turn on RX as well. Okay, just and you can pretty well leave everything else default unless if you have MIDI, other MIDI devices attached that are already using channel one, then you might have to change that. But uh, that's probably a bit outside the scope of this. Okay, next thing go F2. Um, MIDI setup shows outing of MIDI controls in and out of the AW4416. Now I've attached MIDI cable from MIDI in to the MIDI out on my interface, which is a Sapphire Pro 24. And I've, I've also attached a MIDI cable from the MIDI out here to the MIDI in on the interface. And you'll notice the routing, like the in's going to go through there. You've got to make sure that this um, link is made there. Um, if it isn't, you just move the mouse to it and ch change it like that. So that's the in going, in is going through there to MIDI in on the AW CPU. And then the out is coming through here and going through the out. Now, optionally, you can turn on either of these clocks, um, if, particularly if you want to do um, uh, multi-tracking with multiple passes and you need to have at least one of these clocks turned on. I, I suggest use a MIDI clock. Okay, just while we're in, so while we're here, now we'll look at, have a quick look at, that's what you need to do there. And we'll go to control assign, which is F4. Just going to have a look here, and you can see which of the all controls have been assigned, given um, basically any if any of those are moved or pressed or whatever, they will send transmit a MIDI code. And, and also, if you have RX enabled, then if, they, um, if those codes are received coming in, then... Um, That'll um, the controls will be will be moved by the remote device. You can alter these settings. And one thing you might notice is that most of the faders that are assigned are on the input layer, so it's not the monitor layer. So that you got to make sure that when you are trying to um, get your linking to work into your door, you you are on the input input layer. Now you can change this. I, I could go here and change this instead of. To in, in, basically in any of the money faders, but in this case I'm going to leave it what it said. Now if you do change these assignments, you can come down to this initialize key and, and hit that and all go back to the default, which is you know as I said mainly mapped to the input layer. Next we there's one one other item we need to change on the um, we need to set up in the uh, MIDI setup. So you hit shift to get the alternative bank change and then we're looking at here we've got remote a1 and 8 remote a9 to 16 now for this i'm just going to use remote a1 to 8 which is going to be funny but basically if you want to have add more controls you can fill these um other banks in so the thing you've got to do here if you if you only want to use eight faders or eight buttons do that but if you want to use no, more just turn those on there and basically that completes your uh, midi setup on um, the OR and from here I'll move over and we can look at what um, how we're going to use this inside the door. Okay, so I've created a new song here in Studio One Artist. Um, it's got four tracks. Open up the mixer and you'll see this button here. This shows you external devices. We don't have any at the moment so I'm going to have to add one. First one, add a generic keyboard. Right? Call it AW4416. Now remember we set the AW to send on channel 1, so select channel 1. Set re received via the Sapphire sound card in my case. Also send to the MIDI on this Sapphire interface and then go OK. So I've added a new device here. Right click it and carry edit. Um, now, see so here is a thing called MIDI Learn function. Put that on. Now, remember when we talked about the AW MIDI mapping, we have to be on the input layer 
for the codes to get sent. So go to Home and then Input. Okay. Now when I move in with this MIDI Learn going on, when I move a controller on the OR, it'll add a a um, controller function for it. Now I'm going to do the buttons. One, two, three, four. That's four faders and four buttons. So we, we need to tell Studio One what sort of control it is. So those first four were faders. <clears throat> the second four were buttons, on off buttons. Now when we move them, see how these move here, but nothing happens down here. We turn these on and on and off like that. So the buttons are uh, Okay. okay, now to get, if I move these, nothing happens. So if I want this to send back out, I need to right click it, go transmit value there. I'll do that to all of them. <clears throat> okay, and now if I move it here, so it's moving the. Um, uh, faders on the door. Turn the buttons on. Oh, turn them off. Again. Okay. So we can now turn the MIDI learn function off. We can shut. Okay, so I've created the controllers, but they're not actually performing any function in Studio One yet. So what we have to do is. Um, basically map them into the GUI. So the way to do this is move a control. So it's just beta one. And you want to assign it that now. When I move that, that's work. So that's linking it to the GUI to the um, four. And beta two, beta three. So the technique just move the control and assign it. So your button's the same thing. Assign that to the follow button. That one there, find the next solo, next solo, next solo. One thing I might add, just notice here if the MIDI traffic going on, you see a little indication down here. And anyway, now they're all mapped. See, they're all going in and out. We can use, we're using those as solo buttons. So it's all working very nicely. So here's how to add the trans or transport buttons to control the Studio One transport. So back in the MIDI setup screen, F1, go to this section here, MMC mode, set to master. You're going to need to add another external device, this Presonus MMC. Tell it to use the Sapphire. Um, Ignore the uh, warning that it's already in use. We know that because we just mapped it. And use that for both send and receive. Um, send, actually, I don't know how to get that working because I don't think Paul supports it, but do it anyway. Just go OK. And now. Uh,